Hello, my name is Andrew with Pack Radio. We are a two-way radio shop based out of Los Angeles, California. And in today's video, I wanted to bring you a comparison and range test between the Motorola XPR 7550 and the Motorola XPR 7550E, or Enhanced. So, for those of you who don't know, Motorola has come out with a new E line of radios, or Enhanced radios, which is replacing a couple of their older Moto Turbo radios. The radios with the new E versions are the XPR 7000 series, the XPR 5000 series, which is a mobile radio, the XPR 3000 series, and the SL 7000 series. All these radios now have new E radios, which provide many additional features in comparison to their older non-E counterparts. So to start off the comparison, we're going to see what has changed on the outside of the radios. So as you can see, the E radio has the gray band around the PTT button, and the E radio is also UL certified. Um, throughout the E line, you will notice that all E radios have the gray circle around the PTT button, so this makes it a bit easier for you to distinguish between an E and a non-E radio. Now some of the additional features which were added to the XPR 7550E include integrated Wi-Fi for over-the-air programming, Bluetooth 4.0, and overall better audio quality, which is actually noticeable while making calls. The XPR 7550E also has an improved audio receiver, which gives it an 8% increase in range, which is what we will be testing later in the video. As for the batteries, as you can see here, the XPR 7550 has a 20 watt hour battery, and this is actually an upgraded battery. The standard battery the XPR 7550 came with was a 15.9 watt hour battery. Whereas with the XPR 7550E, the standard battery that you get is a 21.5 watt hour battery, which is better than the upgraded XPR 7550 battery. And this new UL certified XPR 7550E battery will definitely give you a noticeable increase in battery life. Another big improvement when it comes to the XPR 7550E is the waterproofing. The XPR 7550E is now IP68 waterproof where the XPR 7550 was only IP57 waterproof. This now means that the XPR 7550E can be submerged in up to 6 feet of water for 2 hours. So that's pretty much it for the new features that come with the XPR 7550E. Now it's time to test that improved audio receiver and see if it actually makes any noticeable difference. So an important thing to note about this range test is that both of the radios are on the same channel, same frequency, and it is a peer-to-peer -peer test, which means no repeaters, uh, it's just radio to radio. During the test, both of the radios will be receiving transmissions from a non-E XPR 7550. This is because the only changes that were made to the E radio which affect the range were made to the receiver. This means that the XPR 7550E has the same transmitter as the 7550. So without further ado, let's get into the range test. So for the first range test, we were at a distance of two miles apart. I was in the first story of a four-story building. The transmitting radio was at ground level, and this is all being done over a flat business slash residential landscape. Testing one, two, three, four, five. All right, and now for the last time, can you go ahead and say testing one, two, three, four, five? So as you can see, both radios were receiving loud and clear at 2 miles. Now moving on to the next test, which is 3 miles, and I am still in the same building and the transmitting radio is still at ground level. I hear you loud and clear. 10 can you, can go, you ahead go ahead and, and say test, test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for me? Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Perfect. Perfect. And, and one more one time, more go ahead and go say, ahead say testing, testing one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. So as you can see from that three mile range test, the XPR 7550's audio began to degrade a little, while the XPR 7550E's audio continued to sound crisp and clear. 
We did also go on to do a 3.5 mile test and a 3.3 mile test. However, both of these tests were useless because at that range, none of the radios were picking up any audio and the improved audio receiver was not able to make a difference at that range. In the end, the improved audio receiver did make a slight difference while getting into the fringe zone. However, I would consider it more of a static remover and audio quality improver than a range increase. So those were all of the main differences between the XPR7550 and the XPR7550E. And if you are trying to decide between purchasing an E-radio and a non-E-radio, I would definitely go with the E-radios because even though their range has not been significantly increased, which is what a lot of people have been asking me about, I think all the other features that you get with these E-radios is definitely worth the $20 increase in price per radio. If you had any other questions about the Moto Turbo E-series radios, or if you just need general assistance with two-way radios, feel free to contact Pack Radio through our website. The link will be in the description below. Thank you for watching.